I see the world in black and white, not in 243 shades of gray, as many people do. Not me. It's either right or it's wrong. I spent almost 20 years of my career in police department and homicide in various positions. There's no worse or more dangerous form of life on this planet than a human being. So when I write, I make certain it's realistic. The identity has been changed because these are fictional people, but what they do is for real. First do no harm lets everyone understand that all of us, every single one of us, no matter how well educated we are, can fall into the trap of narcotics. It's about the use and abuse of a drug, which is fentanyl, originally introduced as a synthetic anesthetic for intravenous use in surgery. Patients had better outcomes, they woke up faster, no nasty side effects like they do with morphine and other types of drugs. But it must be measured carefully. It's exceedingly powerful. The other thing is it's synthetic. So you can manufacture this from common chemicals if you have the formula, thus producing the most dangerous drug that's ever been sold on the street in the United States. The story is inspired by several cases I was involved in. It's a mix of different behaviors of people who are in the business of manufacturing drugs, people in the business of using them, and people who get trapped in the use of them. And I've experienced that many times. I've watched women trade their wedding rings for a rock of crack cocaine. If you want to look at crime in reality, I provide that. The only thing fictional in my fiction are the names of the players. Everything else is exactly the way it is and exactly how dangerous people are. But if you're a crime enthusiast, you will find this book to be satisfying. <laughs>